good afternoon and greetings from Farmer Bill at Mays Valley Farm Market Winery and Craft Brewery. A little bit of a glimpse of the outside of some of the things that hopefully you can see better on March 25th when you're stopping by for the Ohio Agritourism Conference. Latter part of the day we'll be doing a tour. We'll divide the tour up into three sections likely. We'll have an outside agritourism tour, we'll have an inside tour of the market and those behind the scenes with that, and then we'll also have a production tour. I'm coming to you today. It's about 15 degrees out here, so hope I can hold the camera still and we'll be moving along. But we'll go up back and kind of see a little bit of the things that we have to offer. We don't claim to be the biggest, the baddest, the most biggest um, agritourism destination in the state. We're going to tell you a little bit about our journey and what we've built and why we've built it and how it um, works and complements with our combination here of winery, brewery, farm market, and how it all plays together. So we'll go back and talk a little bit about some of the things that we build up back, how we build them. And uh, for some of you maybe just getting involved with this or have some questions about it, you're welcome to come up and ask any questions you'd like. And we'll try to answer them to the best of our ability. It's kind of difficult to show an agritourism destination in the winter months. It's But it's when farmers have time to get out and move around a little bit. So we'll do the best we can as we move around outside around here. But out back is our outside area. Generally in the summertime, it's much more active. We have a zigzag path. We have some goats up there, some chickens, some things like that. And then the back area is primarily open just in the fall season. Um, that may be changing as we have greater demand throughout the year. We also do a variety of uh, events out here throughout the year, starting in May. We do car cruises out here, um, I believe May 8th. This is our DJ hut where I DJ from. And on a Thursday night, we've been doing them for 10 years now, we'll usually get in the neighborhood of, on a low night, 75 to 125 classic rides and cars come out here. So on a big night, we'll have around 300 plus spectators. So that's part of the agritourism concept there where we'll do cruiser specials, oftentimes like featuring our sweet corn or some things like that as well. So the car cruise parks out here, but we'll walk out about here. This is where you'll park if you come in. We'll have some asphalt parking, we have some gravel parking, then we have our overflow parking up on the hill there. So this is the, some of the, a little bit about the outside facility that we'll be covering here. Again, please check out um, the South Center's agenda for this. If you have further questions, you can also contact the folks at South Centers, both Carissa and Christy, and some of the other extension agents who are organizing the agenda. And we're honored to host it. Um, it's been a wonderful journey for us. We want to thank all of our friends who have helped us along the way. Back in the day, many, many people helped show us the way when we were, we were at one time, before we got into this, we were milking about 150 Holsteins, farming about 3,000 acres, and it was tough. Things were not going that great. So we decided to make a change. We decided to adapt. We decided to do something different. This is the culmination of that, or the current situation, I guess I should say. We've been at this about 20, 22 years now or so. Uh, first part of that, it was doing both things, and then latter part, we jumped into this full time. My father-in-law and mother-in-law still farm, and that's located at the home farm around the corner. Out here is our vineyard. They're out here uh, pruning right now. Uh, farther out, where you see those little dots, is our new lavender patch. Um, this is our overflow parking area out here. And then we crop a lot of this here. That was a soybean field last year. There were pumpkins in the back, the corn maize in the back, some alfalfa, some grass hay, uh, sweet corn. Uh, that's pretty much it up here. We plant, we plant a little barley for our brewery. And over the far way is Moore's Christmas Tree Farm. So that's a little bit of overview of the grounds. And we'll talk a little bit more from inside the production facilities as well. So once again, it's Farmer Bill from Mays Valley Farm Market Winery and Craft Brewery. M-A-I-Z-E Valley.com. We make great wine and beer fun. Come on out and play and come on out and learn if you'd like a little bit about agritourism in the state of Ohio. Thank you for stopping by.